Here's a quick video um, showing how to set up the new Bushcom VKS737 8022kHz backup emergency antenna. Um, first of all I'll just show you the components. So what you get with the kit is the, uh, is the throw out antenna system. You'll see here you get a female to female adapter. The coaxial lead. Now this can either screw directly into the back of the radio or in this case we're actually going to remove the connectors from the tuner. Use the inline, the supplied inline adapter and um, connect it directly to the existing coax. And uh, you see here the, the earth clamp or the alligator clip and uh, this is the actual antenna itself so I'll move up this way I'll show you what we've done to actually set the antenna up you can see here I've um, just jammed a shovel into the ground here is the hand winder that generally the um, the emergency antenna is wound up on it's only a few hundred grams and fit into your glove box or um, under the seat or such So, um, yeah, okay, so we'll go ahead and begin to set it up. Okay, now the first thing you must do is ensure the radio is switched off. Okay, and then remove the connectors. So that's both the control connector and the coaxial lead. Okay, now if we um, grab the components... First of all, in this situation, we're, we're going to actually screw the coax connector into the female to female adapter. Okay, now the the earth wire, which is the one that has the uh, alligator clipper on it, is also the strain relief. So it's designed to be the strain relief. So you tie it around, you know, in this case we've tied it to the top start of the tuner or around the, the bull bar or whatever you think you can use as strain relief and you'll see now we need to connect, clip that to earth somehow um, a handy spot is just to click it, clip it to the existing earth braid but if you have a, a sort of an unpainted bolt or something attached to the body of the car you could clip it to that so um, yes now we're, we're actually going to so we have here the existing uh, hold on a second. Well, we have the existing coaxial lead, which we're screwing into the into female female adapter, and that's it. That's all pretty much ready to go. So we'll now we'll move into the vehicle. We'll actually give it a, a quick test run. So this vehicle's fitted with a Kodan 9323. Um, we'll switch switch the unit on. Um, I will need to grab the microphone, which I'll just screw in. Okay, um, this antenna is tuned only tuned for 8022 kilohertz, which is channel two, the primary VKS channel. So the first thing I'll do is um, I'll just let people know that I'm about to send a beacon call. I'm just going to do a test call into uh, Charleville Base, which is about 600 kilometres away as a crow flies. Yeah, this is the mobile 1111 about to send a cell call. As you can see there, the, um, the little bar graph the indication of power meter was, um, was sort of moving up to about a centimetre wide. Um, that sort of proves that the antenna is uh, is tuned. So we'll press call 81, which is Ch Charleville base, and 99 being the beacon call. And there we go. Okay, that's ending the cell call. And you can hear a nice strong reverdive coming coming back from Charleville there. Um, of course, then you could now um, call 81 and 01 for base operator 1 if you wanted to actually speak to a base operator. 
or you could use your telcall system using HF tel if you wanted to make a direct dial telephone call. So, all right, well, I hope that helps a few people out. Um, thank you for watching.